Hey, Shalom Amakim, Tua Babakar, which is to say good morning to you. Yabba Shemel Shai, Brakatham, Bashim Harakakodash, Brakatham to you all. All praise it to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, and Devon to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone. All right, welcome back to another GMS Inspiration of the Almighty. And the title of this one is going to be We Live in an Upside Down World. We Live in an Upside Down World. And as you can see, I got the quick picture showing hope in the upside down world. Hope in the upside down world. And that's exactly what the spirit of Yabar Shemel Shai had, me, had on my mind to think about how everything is turned upside down. And since everything is turned upside down, it's vexing to those who like things right side up. Or like things in its righteous manner. Matter of fact, it quickly made me think about how um, the scripture in Isaiah 29 and 16 says, Surely your turning of things upside down should be esteemed as the potter's clay. So we well understand, you you know, you brothers out there, you little amount of sisters, this shit is fucked up. And I'm telling you straight like that. The society is upside down. Okay? The man believe their woman. The woman believe their men. The straight women uh, wants to rule the man. And the society caters to them so that they could uh, run whatever man that they get. These men out here are soft. They don't know how to take the lead. They worry about more about fashion and killing their own brother than working on themselves. We're eating food that's, that's genetically modified and destroying our bodies and our minds every day. We're drinking water that's poisoning us. We're breathing in air that's mixed with metals that destroying our body, our blood and our body flow. Our children are being hypersexualized they're not being taught about the lord from their 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 use you know we're oppressed we're poor we're broke it's is everything is upside down so like the scripture says surely your turning of things upside down should be esteemed as the potter's clay and when it says it should be esteemed that the potter as the potter's clay, what that means is that just as you see a potter when he's sculpting his clay, if you ever seen a potter that rotates the clay on that flat plate, if he doesn't like what he sculpted, he esteems it. He'll, he'll just form it back down and start over again until he like the shape, the desired shape that he that he sees in his mind. So, as the potter does that, well, it's in the same similitude of the Heavenly Father. The Heavenly Father is looking down on earth and seeing how things are being ran. And he's going to esteem it as the potter's clay. He's going to reset it and shape it to his liking. So that's, that's good news in our ears that this upside down world wouldn't it's not going to continue forever it says for shall the work say of him that made it he made me not or shall the thing formed say of him that framed it he have no understanding so you have starting with esau eating the devil the self-proclaimed white man you have him basically going contrary to everything that the heavenly father left for us to do and how to behave and how he's basically manipulating everybody to go against the Heavenly Father. It's like, dude, are you trying to say that the Heavenly Father didn't create things in his perfect manner? Are you trying to say that the Heavenly Father had flaws? That's a big reason why the self-proclaimed white man, the Edomite, is in trouble with the Heavenly Father. Because the Heavenly Father has the understanding on why he did what he did. Why he put a man in his position? Why he put a woman in their position? Why he put children in their position? 
why he created food after his seed. But in this upside down world, we're dealing with um, everything opposite of the Heavenly Father and it's, and it's crucial. It's very vexing to the soul. So when you look up the word upside down, it, it's a compound. He, it's a compound. It's two English, the upside down, that's two words, but in the, the blue letter, in the, the strong concordance, it's under one Hebrew word. And it goes back to the Strong's H 2017. The Hebrew word is hapak. And it says perverseness. It says perverseness. Perversity. So when it says you're turning the things upside down, what the Lord is saying, are you making everything perverse? The self-proclaimed white man is making everything perverse. And all you out there that's joining him with the self-proclaimed white man, you're aiding, you're helping and making things perverse. And that's why the Lord has a heavy judgment to, to basically, he's going to reset the world. He's going to destroy and judge majority of the world because they're turning things upside down. They're perverse. They're perversing everything. Okay. You see, so upside down means to be perverse. So quickly as I, uh, I read that definition. I was like, damn upside down means perverse. Quickly as I read that definition, I was like, well, Isaiah 19 and, and 14. It says, the Lord have mingled a perverse spirit in the midst thereof. And they have caused Egypt to err in every work thereof as a drunken man staggering in his stagger and his vomit. So then it's just like the Lord have a perverse spirit out here. And that's the turning of things upside down. That's why we look on the internet every day and it's something wild going on. You got thievery, kleptomaniacs at an all-time high. But people are that work for Amazon stealing your packages. You know? Everybody's scamming. Everybody's a scam artist. I seen a, a scam artist where he was uh faking to be a, a a funeral um embalmer and he was scamming people over their loved ones it's so much perverseness out here i've seen another video where a young woman she had to be only about 12 she was about 12 or 11 because her body wasn't even developed yet but she was in a car looking like a whole prostitute Looking like a whole prostitute. And it was some Jake females that seen her and said, girl, you better get out that car. And the little girl was saying, I'm grown. I'm grown. And when you look at her body, her, her, her breast was, it looked like it was barely even anything. It was just like, like you see on 11 or, or 12 year old. Everything is upside down. You see, and and that's the perverseness, like you see right here in this picture. Um, it says perverse, evil, evil, evil. Perverse means directed away from what is right or or good. What is right? And, what is right and good? It's the statute, laws, and commandments of the heavenly Father, the ways of Yahweh Shemal Shai, the faith in the Lord. The humbleness in the Lord, the fear in the Lord, that's what's good. But when you're going contrary to that, you're going perverse. You're going upside down. And that's surely what we see in this society. That's surely what we see is perverseness, and upside downness, upside downness. And we have to deal with this, man. Now you see why Vex, I mean, why um, Lot was vexed with the 50 conversation of the wicked. Everything was turned upside down. 
All right. Homosexuality is 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 at your front door. You'll get hit on by men more than you'll get hit on by women. Women don't talk to men no more. They too good. You have certain women out there that say, hey, you want my number? That's going to be $40 off top. But then look at her. She got fake hair, fake eyelashes. She didn't have sex with uh, triple digit men. She's living a fake lifestyle. But she don't want to talk to you, though. But then the homo, the, the, the person who practices homosexuality, they want to talk to you. So, like I said, perverseness is when you turn something righteous into wickedness. Or you turn it upside down. Quickly, I thought of Isaiah 5 and 20. It says, Warn to them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. So, the Heavenly Father is, is totally against perverseness, upside downness. And he says, woe to you, which means destruction on you, onto you. Why do you think America is, is going to be going up in flames after the nuclear destruction, after the World War III, after, after severe judgment run rampant in the earth? Because people are calling evil good and good evil. And we live in this, in this shithole. You know, and we have to deal with it every day. People like to say, well, uh, just let them be. They're not bothering you. It, they are bothering me. Because they're shaping society that we have to live in. And we have to deal with the madness. So the Lord says, warn to them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. All you out there that got that demonic uh, aura and you wise in your own mind you're going to do what the hell you want you're going to be all on the internet teaching people your perverse upside down way the Lord said woe unto you man. and you best believe like you see on the screen Yahweh Shah is watching the earth and he's coming back to to, to, to reek reap reek judgment havoc on all those who are contrary to his heavenly father. And that's the joy of those who patiently wait for our, our Lord and Savior. We can't wait till the Lord Yahweh Shai come back and, and check you people. And turn this world, this upside down, this upside down world right side up. You want to know what? Let's check out this video clip that I have found on um, TikTok. All right, let's check this out because this guy was speaking truth. I ain't gonna lie, gang. Our generation so fucked up. We losing too many people. Everybody dying. Everybody on fucking drugs. It's men and women on the internet arguing right now talking about bad relationship advice. Smoking and drinking is the new fun. Nowadays, people don't want to work. They'd rather be fucking lazy and have everything handed to them. And the people who do have jobs are being called broke by the people who don't have jobs. The rainbow flag mafia is getting more notarized than ever before. Being a slut in the hole is the new norm. And as far as I'm concerned, if you're not a sex worker, I guess you lame now. People are more weird than ever before. If you don't do half the shit people do nowadays, you consider lying. You can't speak or stand up for yourself anymore. You can't have an opinion on things anymore. People are way sensitive than ever. And then on top of that, people rather socialize on the internet than rather socialize in person. What has this world come to? Yeah. What has this world come to? That's what I had typed in. I ain't gonna lie, gang. Our generation so in, fucked up. What has this world we losing too many to? people. Everybody and this done. Is the video that popped Everybody up. on this fucking dude, drugs. Yeah, he, he, it's men and women on the internet arguing dead. right now, talking about bad relationship advice. It, it, it's, it's Smoking and drinking down. is it's the weird. new fun. We Nowadays, a, people a don't want to work. They'd rather be fucking lazy and have everything handed to them. World. And the people who do have jobs are being called broke by the people who don't and have jobs. Madness. 
the rainbow flag mafia is it's getting more down. notarized than ever before. You know? So, what has this world come to? It, it's, it's come to an upside downness. After seeing that video, I thought of Proverbs 30 and, and, and 11. It says, There is a generation that curseth their father and did not bless their mother. There is a generation that are pure in their own eyes and yet is not washed from their filthiness. There is a generation, oh, how lofty are their eyes and their eyelids are lifted up. There is a generation whose teeth are as swords and their jaw teeth as knives to devour the poor from off the earth and the needy from among men. And that's exactly why the world is upside down. We're in this generation of people who do not fear the Lord, people who do not reverence the God of the Bible, people who do not have faith, people who love wickedness and evilness. People who love to scam, commit adultery, practice homosexuality, eat fake foods, not work, not honor their father and mother, not honor the Sabbath, who love other gods that's fake, who love money, who love social status and popularity more than the Heavenly Father and His Word. We're in a, we're in that generation. And that's how we know this is the last generation. And you best believe Yahweh Shai know all about it. He knows. And he's watching. He knows. And he gonna set he gonna set the record straight. He's gonna set the record straight. And he's gonna turn things right side up. Ain't going to deliver it. Those who are vexed with the upside down of this, this demonic ass world. All right. So now is the time to, to stop acting upside down. Stop acting perverse. Get your life together. Get your house in order. Repent, man. Stop acting like following a crowd to do evil. Stand up. You know? Has some honor and integrity. Matter of fact, Peter spoke in Acts 2 and 38. He says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, for the remission of sins, and ye receive and ye shall receive the Holy Spirit. For the so so if you repent, get your get your life together, get your house in order, and the, the Spirit of the Lord will deal with you. That's the Holy Spirit. It says, for the promise is unto you and to your children and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord, our power shall call. The, the salvation to be saved is for us. You Negro, Latino, Native Americans, we have that. The Lord set that up for us. All nations can't, they don't have this privilege. You know? We have this special privilege. It says, and when it says, and with many other words that he testify and exhort saying, save yourselves from an untoward generation. When, when Peter was speaking, he was saying many things, many beautiful things. And then he was telling our people to save yourself from an untoward generation. Now check it out when you check out untoward. It goes back to the Strong's G 4646. And look at the, the Greek word. It says scolio, scolios, scolios, scolios. Quickly, what did you think about? Well, let's see what it defines itself as. It says crooked, curved, perverse, wicked. You know, unfair. So when it says untorn generation, another another way of saying is the upside down world. 
Save yourself from an upside down world, a perverse upside down world. And the Greek word is scolios. Hold up. I know you quickly thought of what I thought of. You have a uh you have a condition out there that's called scoliosis. It's when your it's when your spine is crooked. As you can see the the the, the picture here. So one of the definitions was crooked. They're spiritually, these people spiritually got scoliosis. They're spiritually crooked. They're, they're crooked. They're wicked. They're crooked. They're upside down. They're perverse. They spiritually have scoliosis, man. You know? So here's the last the last precept I have here to cap this thing off. And I pray to Abba Shemal Shai that this was just edifying and just it just uplifts you to meditate on that which is right and stay strong to not fall back into the upside down world. Mark 8 and 34, it says, And when he had called the people unto him with his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. But whosoever shall lose his life for my sake in the gospels, the same shall save it. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the world and lose his own soul? So usually when we bring this precept out, we, we in reference to people that sell their soul to the devil in the celebrity world. But it also ties to just generality of people choosing the world over the Lord. They gain the world, whether it be that they just wanted to have this social media page with all these followers. They rather had gave more attention to that and that life that they built than the Lord. You, 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 you sold your soul in that fashion. Whether it be they just want to chase women, these fake BBL, fake eyelash, uh, mini body count women. They sold, they sold to do that. Whatever it may be, they sold, they sold. If they did not turn to the Lord, they sold, they sold to do whatever wickedness that they desired. So they gained what they were, they wanted out of the world. And they lost their soul in the process. The Lord destroys them because of their perverseness, their upside downness. It says, or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? Whosoever therefore should be ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation. This is an adulterous and sinful generation. Perverse, upside down generation. Of him also should a son of man be ashamed when he cometh in the glory of his father with the holy angels. So the Lord ain't playing that. You don't want to listen. You know, you don't want to listen. You want to do whatever it is that you desire to gain in this world and have pleasure in that. Well, the Lord going to be ashamed of you. But for all you out there that, that believe in y'all, Shamel Shai, with all your heart, soul, and spirit, and you fighting to stay right, I pray you a part of the elect, and I pray the Lord have mercy on us all. But but we living in an upside down world. And we pray y'all, Shamel Shai, turn this thing right side up. So, man, that's all I had to say this morning. And um, I pray you, buzz and sisters, edified out there. And uh, this lesson got you meditating. To continue to do that which is right. Hey, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahweh Shai, Brakata Yahawa, and Brakata Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Brakata Makif Step, Shalom.